Bless his family. Look, man, it's top notch. We back at you again with a whole another one. Listen, today we break down our top five Heisman Trophy candidates. We know they never get it right with ESPN and all the other ones. So we're going to give it to you real and raw. Listen, y'all going to love this. So uh, let's get into it. What's happening, folks? Shalom and blessings to all my beautiful people. I hope everybody is doing well. Listen, man, we got a beautiful one for you today. Listen, we got our top five Heisman Trophy candidates, and we're going to keep it smoking. We're going to keep it real, and we're going to go from five all the way down to one. Coming in at number five, none other than Travis Hunter. Now, listen, y'all all know, I believe Travis Hunter is arguably the best player in college football. The versatility this young man has is crazy. I mean, it's awesome. He is such a remarkable talent. Uh, you don't find, he's a, he's a once in a generational type of talent. You don't find a lot of Travis Hunters. Um, but the reason why I got Travis coming in at five is simple. And before we get into that, Let's look at his stats. Last year, Travis had 23 solos. He had uh, zero forced fumbles and three interceptions. All praises to y'all. Now, when it comes to offensive stats, it says Travis Hunter was a standout player for Colorado. He was turning heads nationwide with his impressive versatility. Excelling as both a cornerback and a wide receiver, Hunter is a game changer on either side of the ball. His performance in 2023 earned him the Paul Hornick Award, recognizing him as the nation's most versatile player. He also secured consensus All-American honors in the all-purpose category. Now, the reason why I put Travis at number five is simply this. I think he's going to have to have a huge year. And this is the type of year I think he's going to have to get it. Now, we all know the Heisman Trophy has become a quarterback award. We all know that. We all know it, right? So I'm going to put it like this. His versatility gives him a great chance at winning it. But the type of year he's going to have to have to win it I believe he's going to have to do about seven interceptions with a 7 to 10 receiving touchdown. Total 10 touchdowns. Now, I'm giving him three touchdowns on defense, seven on offense. That's 10 total touchdowns with seven interceptions. I believe if Travis Hunter does that, None of the other stats will matter, however many tackles, whatever that, none of that will matter. If he can give those stats that I just said, I can easily see Travis Hunter becoming the 2024 Heisman Trophy winner. Now let's go on. Now coming in number four, we got Quinn Ayers. And listen, man, he did have a big year last year at Texas. I love what he did. 3,470 passing yards. 79 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, six interceptions, a 78.3 QBR, which ranks 17th in the nation. He had a big year. And I think what really, really has put him so high up to uh, to the odds makers to have an opportunity to win the Heisman the year, this year is the year that he had last year in the game that he had against Alabama. He had a huge game against Alabama, but... I'm going to tell you, I would put the least amount of money on him, and he's got the the, the craziest eyes. He, it's not a lot of bang coming back for the buck with him. What I will say is this. He lost two very excellent 
receivers. One being Xavier Worthy, the fastest receiver going into the draft, one of the fastest receivers ever to run a 40 in the draft. I mean, lightning fast. And who we don't know exactly how that's going to translate. I think he's going to be a speed star. I think he went to the perfect place. But we know in college that is just that's what you call a 99 overall type talent right there. He was one of those guys that you got to put a hundred speed on because that is the way he was handling his business out there. But I do feel like he can have a strong year. They went and got people like Isaiah Bonds. They did really well uh, in the. Uh, in the portal at bringing in some decent talent. So Texas should be a good team. So with that being said, I'm a, I'm a, I brought yours in at number four. So let's move on to number three. Number three, I got my dog, Cam Ward. Now this dude is oozing talent, man. This dude here is super talented, and I just feel like Miami really stacked the board, man. Miami went in and went out. They went above and they went beyond. They had an excellent portal year. Uh, every time the portal opened, they recruited extremely well. I think Miami, it's one of those things where we've seen Miami be successful, but they haven't been able to put it together yet on the field, and I just feel like they got the great nucleus to do so they went and tightened up that running game getting a running back out of Oregon State and then they got to me arguably one of the top five quarterbacks returning to college football last year my boy Cameron Ward aka Cam Ward sharp like a sword had 3,735 yards passing 25 touchdowns to seven interceptions with a 65.2 QBR which, like we said, look at the stats. Yeah, better yards, more touchdowns, right around the same in interceptions. Who is doing this QBR? But with it all, with all that being said and done, man, I think Kim Ward is going to have a huge, huge year this year. So definitely circle him in, and I think you can get a lot of bang for your buck going with Cam Ward. Cam is the type of quarterback that he's a dual threat. The dual threat quarterbacks always have the best opportunity to win the Heisman. For one, the Heisman is a quarterback award. But when you're someone like Cam who can toss the rock with accuracy, who's one of the best passers in college football, who has some of the best accuracy in college football, who is just purely playing the quarterback position at a high level, but he also can tuck in his scoop and he makes Huge, huge plays with his feet as well. And, and I mean, just the bedazzling plays that you see when he's scrambling around. Look at this. This is the type of quarterback who always dominates when it comes to the Heisman when they have big years because they just have more of those Heisman moments. They have more of the, the wild plays that just jump out to you. And Cam Ward is just, he's just next level, man. This guy is arguably the top quarterback in college football when you watch the film it's gonna be hard to say that he does if he takes a step up this year that he is not the best quarterback in college football he has his tape his skills his game decision making and how he continues to develop and grow and just get better it says that this guy is on that type of level now coming in at number two y'all know what time it is we got to go back to boulder baby yeah, and I think it's crazy that Colorado has two Heisman Trophy uh, caliber players and they're not in the top 25, especially what they've done on that defensive line and how they've improved the offensive line. If the trenches just improves slightly, Colorado is going to be a force to be reckoned with. The reason why I got two coming in at two is simple. Shadour Sanders is a Excellent quarterback, super accurate. He's another one that can get out and make some plays with his feet. Um, he doesn't do it a lot, but when he does it, it is highly effective. You'll see him make a lot of big plays on the run um, when it matters most. And they usually always turn up to be uh, touchdowns. Like he just knows when to tuck it and when to go. And so uh, he's another guy that can make those plays. But what I will say about him is Colorado has done an excellent job putting some top notch that's right top 
notch weapons around him. I mean, he's got, in my opinion, the best wide receiver core in college football. Last year, we know he had the absolute worst line in football. He had the worst line in football. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But even with him having the worst line in football, he still was able to get 3,230 yards, 27 touchdowns to just three interceptions, 63.1 QBR. And I think that was a lot of that was due to uh, the sacks and how many times he was sacked. But Shadua had an awesome year last year under the most duress with the worst line in Power 5 football. Nobody will argue you that. Nobody will argue that he didn't have the worst offensive line in Power 5 football. So, man, if the offensive line improved and the defense uh, improves to get them back to the, get him back the ball, we are talking about, I could see Shador putting up easily 5,000 yards passing this year. And I could see him getting another five to six TDs on the ground. I can see Shadur Sanders, I'm predicting Shadur Sanders will throw for 40 touchdowns this year. That is definitely a top Heisman caliber type of year. We seen two do what two do last year all over the field, uh, just making remarkable plays, buying time with one of the worst lines. So if the offensive line is even slightly improved, two is already accustomed to having to get the ball out. Uh, he reminds me a lot of one of his mentors, and that's Tom Brady. He knows how to get the ball out. He knows how to manipulate the game. Even in uh, situations, look at that, stand in the pocket, boom, right on the money. Uh, Shadur is top notch, and that is why I got two coming in at number two. My number one guy, Jalen Miro. A lot of people hate on Jalen Miro. And that's, that's on them. But to me, if you watch Jalen Milrow's career and you watch how he has developed year after year, Jalen Milrow has the it factor. He is the most talented, physically gifted. He's the most physically gifted quarterback in college football. No one's even close. He, in my opinion, Jalen Milrow, is Lamar Jackson 2.0. I believe Jalen Miro is Lamar Jackson 2.0. This kid is awesome. Last year he had 2,834 2, yards passing, 23 touchdowns to six interceptions, 80.5 QBR. Very efficient year. Very, very efficient year. But see, here's the big clip with Jalen. I want you to look at these rushing yards. 531 rushing, 12 touchdowns with a 53 long. My goodness. Jalen Miro has the best chances, in my opinion, to win the Heisman for that reason alone. Not just because he's so remarkable with his feet. It's because... We've seen him working. I think he's working with Josh McCown. Uh, I have saw him putting in solid work. And you watch his maturation process over the years at quarterback. He keeps getting better and better. I'm not going to talk it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Check it out. Look, at Jalen has just that it factor. When you talk about Heisman moments and just being able to wow, this is him scooping up a fumble and taking it for six Elite, elite athleticism. Look at this. We know what he can do on the legs. But when you watch this guy in the pocket, look at this. Woo! Money. He is a much better thrower than they give him credit for. And he constantly is constantly improving at throwing a football and learning the pocket. Now, here's the biggest move, in my opinion, for Milro. This is what I think gives Miro the best chance to win the Heisman. Kalen DeBoer. If we look at what he did last year, 
with that Washington offense. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Excellent. Heisman Trophy candidate quarterback. We already know what Kalen is capable of. Michael Penix Jr. was phenomenal last year in that Kalen DeBoer offense. And it was the top offense, arguably, in college football. When I look at what he was able to do there, adding a kid like Jalen Miro. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Let's go back to it. Miro was just on a whole nother level all last year. And so I think adding Jalen Miro to that Kalen DeBoer offense, and when you look at how Miro has been able to just develop and develop and get better and better as a pocket passer, get better and better at looking downfield, keeping his eyes downfield, filling the pocket with that elite ability. We all know who the MVP of the league in the NFL was, I believe. Uh, Jalen Miro is Lamar Jackson 2.0, and I believe this year um, he has a monster year. Now let's go to the stats, and I'm going to tell you what I believe Jalen Miro will pull out this year. I got Jalen Miro going for 3,700 yards passing, 33 touchdowns to just seven interceptions. But here's the big kicker. I got Jalen Miro running for a thousand yards rushing. I believe there he's gonna be able to pop off a lot more of those big gaping runs with the way that that Kalen DeBoer offense spreads the field. I believe he's gonna have a whole lot more running lanes when things aren't open. And you're not gonna see him run as much, but you're gonna see him have games where he may take off five times and have 120 yards because he breaks those big, big chunks those big, big chunk runs. And so with that being said, I believe Jalen Miro will also do over 1,000 yards on the ground and over 10 touchdowns again this year. With all of that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed the content. Look, man, we're going to keep trying to come and give y'all solid content, top-notch content, Listen, take my advice, put something on these five guys, especially, I, I say ears because, you know, I don't see him winning it, um, and they have him number one right now, so he, he doesn't have the most bang for your buck, but all of these other guys, they're being overlooked with the odds makers right now, and I think this will be an awesome, awesome come up, because it's going to be one of these top five guys. You can bet that. You come back after the Heisman is announced and jump in these comments and say, hey, top notch, top notch picks. You were right. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So look, with all of that being said, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Listen, man, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you guys be a part of the family. Here at Top Notch Sports, every time we hit a pinnacle, when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're gonna give away $100. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away $1,000. When we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away $2,000. To who? You, the subscribers. We want to be a channel that builds with the people who build us, which is you. So listen, do us that favor. Do us a solace and become a part of the family. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because we would love to have you here. Hey, get down in the comments and tell me what you guys think about the top five and who is your top five. Who do you have? Who is your top five Heisman candidates for the 2024 season before it starts? Listen, man, I hope everyone has an excellent evening. I hope everyone is blessed. That's all we have for you today. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that bell icon because I promise we the hottest doing it. Ain't nobody better as always. Top notch. No need to ill is Every verse in the booth. I make them stare in amazement when I converse in the booth. This for your listening pleasure. I got that work in this proof. I'm talking cocaine flows. I get them high as the roof. I'm about to flower the stoop. Hop out, I in the coop. Just kill.
until they try and recruit It's business, try on the suit Ain't no question who the sick is It should try him some soup Pull up fast like Westbrook Die in the shoot 